Hello YouTube, this is Krenos43 with the second out of the box of today. And this time, hey look, there's a head right right about there. It's right about there. Ah, I'm ticklish. <laughs> anyway, <Really? laughs> yes. Anyway, this time, it's the D&D Fortune cards. Uh, Shadow of Mentor Vale. Each pack comes with three. Each pack is three dollars and ninety-nine cents. By the way, it says on the back here, the D and D rules are not included. Hmm. Got no idea why the heck it would say that. No. Anyway, each of these comes with eight cards. Yet, funny little, funny little thing, you need ten. So you're practically needed. You you practically have to buy two boosters. Anyway. This is how the things work, and this is kind of cool. Uh, you have ten. You you make a deck of ten cards. Now there's three different types of cards. There's attack cards, defense cards, and tactics cards. Uh, when you make a deck of ten, or a multiple of ten anyway, for every ten, you have to use at least three of each type of card. So that way you're not filling it up with cards that just say plus one power bonus, plus one bonus to attack, plus one bonus to attack, plus one bonus to attack. No, not possible. At the beginning of each of your turns, you can do one of three things. You can discard the card that you have in your hand. You're only allowed one card. Discard the card in your hand to draw a card. Draw a card if you don't have one, or keep the card in your hand. You play the card whenever it says two on the card, and you get whatever bonuses printed. That's really all there is to it. They're not game-breaking effects. It's not like you have something that says you get like plus 15 to damage. It, it's nothing It's nothing that ridiculously big. And even if there was one that said plus 15 to damage, you'd probably have to be bloodied, get hit by an area of effect attack that does like some sort of like cold thunder fire damage or some nonsense like that. By a beholder, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you are but, beholders, I swear. <laughs> I like beholders. <laughs> anyway, let's pop this son of a bitch open and see what's inside. Like I said, they come with eight cards, so this is either going to be a ridiculously short video or we're going to go into mega super fun detail. Whee! Mega super fun detail. <laughs> well, my last video was nine minutes and I'm already at three. <laughs> so, <laughs> by the way, the one thing I did, there's only one thing I don't like about these uh, cards. Only the rares have really cool pictures. Mm. And you get used to it. Anyway, let's move the camera down to the card. Watchful approach. Play at the start of your turn. During this turn, you can take a standard action to shift up your speed. Hmm. That isn't horrible, especially if you've got somebody with like a 7 or 8 speed. Yeah. And it's a standard, so you can just, you know, move, attack, action point, shift away. Mm -hmm. Inner strength. Play either when you spend a healing surge or when you take total defense. You can make a saving throw. Once again, it's, you know, if you're under the effect of something that a save can end. Could be useful. Reckless Violence. This is one of your car favorite cards. Ah, it's Play when you make an attack on your turn. You take a minus two penalty to the attack and get plus four to damage. And you grant combat advantage to the, end to the start of your next turn. So, yeah, you get plus four to damage, but everybody gets plus two to hit you. Not a big drawback, especially if you're a rogue, per se, or you've got a crap, or you've got a ridiculously high uh, defenses as it is. Trained advance. Play with an ally within five squares of you. Takes a move action to shift. You shift. Hmm. It's a free action. Yeah. Live and let live. Play at the end of your turn. If you did not make an attack on that turn, you get a plus four to all defenses. Okay, so you don't... So it says, play at the end of your turn if you did not make an attack. So if you're dazed and you move, play the card. Bam. You didn't make an attack. Yeah. See, I can find uses for this stuff. 
Stand by me, stand by me, <laughs> until the start of your next turn, you get, I'm not doing it, until the start <laughs> of your next turn, you get a bonus to AC equal to the number of allies adjacent to you. Don't be a caster. Just saying. Self-preservation. Play when an ally adjacent to you takes damage from a melee attack. You shift. It's like, boom, Wait. I'm going to run away now. Well, you, you shift two squares. You get behind the guy that made the attack. Hmm. Combat advantage. Easy student. And art. That's a drow. It is a drow. Mind over metal. Play at the start of your turn. The first attack roll you make targets will instead of the defense the attack normally targets. Ooh. Useful if you're go fighting against things with low willpowers. Like fighters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how you doing? And then a random ninth thing. Actually, <laughs> hey look, how to play! At the start of each encounter, shuffle your deck and draw a card. You may play you may play one card per round. It requires no action. The rules on each card tell you when you can play it. Blah 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 blah. You can use all the cards you own or more D D fortune card boosters in your deck. What's on the back? Oh, pictures of the essential stuff. Mm -hmm. Add. Mm. Well, even the magic tokens have ads. That's true. But anyway, like I said, as you can plainly see, they're not ridiculously broke. They're not ridiculously broke. They're not um, stupid. No. Everyone has a requirement. It's like having dr dragon bloody breath. <laughs> you know, you'd make a breath, you'd take a breath, or you get an automatic breath weapon if you become bloodied. Whoopity doo. Anyway, but yeah. And by the way, the set has only 80 cards. So if you're one of them cool guys who gets a whole box of these, mm -hmm. like this cool guy right here, <laughs> this cool guy, that guy, that guy. <laughs> should be able to pretty much get a whole set. Now I'm curious if I got a whole set. We'll but anyway, that that's it for today. Next time, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, <laughs> we'll find but there will be something. Yes. It might be Heroes of Shadow. That comes out in April. And the new dual deck comes out in April, too. Knights vs. Dragons. But we'll see. I do have plans for stuff coming up soon. If nothing else, there's a lot of Pokemon games that come out next month. Yes. In the meantime, peace out! And as soon as I can click off the camera here...